Good morning, fishing freaks, and welcome to another fantastical edition of fishing out here on the Amazon jungle. I'm sitting here with Joe this morning, our guide. He got me a nice hot cup of coffee from the jungle. Mmm, delicioso. I think we're going to be doing some more topwater fishing. That seems to be the deal down here to catch some big fish. Might be getting redundant, but. I think that's honestly how I'm gonna catch a fish over 20 pounds. If you guys haven't tuned in yet, catching a 20 pound peacock bass is like catching a 10 pound bass back in the States. So that's the big goal down here. I am super blessed to already have a 16 pounder. So everything now is just gravy. I'm just having fun. Me and Joe are gonna have a good time today, baby. Come along for the ride. It's gonna be a good day. Big fish hole right here now. Chop, chop. Okay, here we go. Chop, chop, big fish. <laughs> All right. Cock on. Barely hooked. Just got him by the back treble. Peacock on. take for me mm -hmm. you just hit this top button mm -hmm. yeah I want to hold it oh no <laughs> that's okay we get another one oh big dolphin okay Whoa, barracuda. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I caught a, hooked a barracuda in the Amazon. Good bait. Barracuda. Teeth or no teeth? No teeth. No teeth. Oh, it's a little bit different than the barracudas I've caught before. Mm -hmm. Yee! Right on, new species. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. We're about to roll up on the biggest tree I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my gosh. Samauma. I mean, here's me, and there's the tree. I bet at the base of that tree is probably 20, 30 feet around. I don't even know. It's gigantic. Right next to the water. That's where the biggest trees grow. Mm -hmm. 
Get him. Get him. Get him. Kaboom. Kaboom, baby. Oh, gosh, they always look bigger when they first hit it. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. We get picture. All right. We let him go. See ya, topwater peacock. Woo! Swim away. Ooh, easy. <laughs> Cock on. Easy, easy release. Right at the boat. Okay, we'll keep him for lunch. Mm -hmm. lunch. Lunch, comida. Lunch. Lunch. That's right. If I can get him in. All right. You want to put him in the the deal? Okay. provides the cook on board requested that um, we bring back some peacocks because that's what we've been eating for dinner so I was just doing what I was told I feel kind of bad putting pe peacock bass in a live well because it's kind of a you know a bucket list creature but um, when in Rome he pretty much just got to roll with the punches Oh gosh, oh my goodness. Big fish, huh? Nice. Yeah, big fish. Yeah, let's get the net one for this. Woo, baby. It's a good one. Hey, nice. There we go. Good? Yeah, good. Okay, that one will not be for lunch. How much? How much? You want, let's see. I'm gonna say seven. Seven? seven? Yeah, picture. Uh -huh. You hold it. All right, fishing freaks. That's a nice peacock right there. We're gonna give it a sniff. <laughs> ah, smells like the Amazon. Love when they hit the top water, man. That's awesome. Good luck. Is for lunch? Uh -huh. Oh, now we take for lunch. Uh -huh. No lunch, no mice. Okay, no mice. No mice. Uh -huh. Time to head in. Wee -hoo! Had a couple nice ones there at the end before lunch on some top water. Good? Good! Yes! I never get tired of seeing fish in top water, baby! Woo! Bronzing and sexy afterward. There you go. Bronzing. Franz is bronzing. Bronzing and sexy. I got, I got Franz least. with me this afternoon. He's gonna be able to interpret all the all the big bass we're gonna catch. The peacock bass. We're back at the honey hole point here where we had a bunch of explosions earlier and we're about to get to popping and chopping. <laughs> 
Oh, he came off. He came off. I saw the big one. <laughs> big fish. Woo, son. Oh, yeah, baby. It's not a big one, but it's fun on the light gear. Yeah. A lot of fish feeding on this point right here. Oh, wow. Another one. Oh. Man, he's crushing this big. No. Oh, yes, Franz. Boy, it's much more exciting when they hit the top water. Yeah. <laughs> Honey hole. Honey hole. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Ooh. Smoked it. Smoking the jig. Yeah. Ah, easy release. Got one on the jig. Oh my gosh. Freaking smashing this thing so hard, guys. Oh god. Keep thinking it's gonna be a big one. Oh another one behind it. Another one. There's so many right here. That's the biggest one I've had on that jig so far. Wow, we are, we are crushing them on this point. Oh! Oh, yeah! Nice! Me and Franz doubled up. The double, God. double peacocks. He's been caught before. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that one absolutely hosed it. Had that middle hook in his mouth. It's probably the best bite I've had. It's actually eating it. Nice. Oh baby, I don't know how many fish we've caught off this point. It's been the juice. Oh gosh. Oh, just loving this jig. Is this another yellow one? Yellow peacock? Yeah. Oh, okay, this is a new species here. Guys, see this long bar right there? That's a yellow peacock. They don't get very big. But, hey. Pretty cool, I caught one. It's nice to throw a jig in the midst of doing some chop chop. Just give yourself a little break. I'm just letting this sink to the bottom. I'm pumping it a few times. What about G? How do you say Covardia in English? What is it? When you, it's unfair. Unfair? Yeah, it's another word. Oh, cowardly, yeah. Cowardly? Cowardly, yeah. And the other term is go big or go home. That's popular. Go big or go home. 
The water's like glass right now. The birds are coming out to go to the roosting areas. We've got a little bit of cloud cover, so we've got some, some beautiful atmospheric situations. Hey, Joe. That's what we need It's good. Are you careful? Big piranha? Oh, Francis. Ranja. Ranja piranha. Pollo for bait? Ah, with your rod? Yes. Use your new rod? Oh, here we go. That's what we're. Ooh, yes. Very good. Supper. Abragado. That looks delicious. Today was an awesome day. Woo! And apparently there's a lot of piranhas around the boat. I still want to catch a piranha. Stay tuned for a piranha episode. But today was the best day for numbers on peacock bass. Got on a hot spot on a point. This is the farthest we're gonna go up this river. This river's called like the Jumanji River. I'm not even kidding. It's something, it's something like that. It's like Jumanju or Jumanji or something. We were all the way up as far as we can go with the big boat and uh, the last lagoon up, uh, up this way turned out to be really good. Everybody caught fish in the lagoon and a lot of people caught fish uh, over 10 pounds. I didn't catch one over 10 pounds today, but I caught as many as I've caught this whole entire trip. Tons of fish on the jig. Uh, had some great top water explosions, so it was a great day. But now it is time to close this one out, Fish and Freaks. We're gonna go upstairs and eat some Pirona for dinner. I love the cook on board this boat. She's so awesome. I can't remember her name, um, but Winston gave her a fishing rod. She was fishing with a hand line. She's been catching these piranha and catfish and stuff and peacock bass that were eating for dinner aboard the boat. And um, Winston showed her how to fish and he gave her the he gave her the rod and reel. So I guess she's slamming the piranhas now with her new rod and reel. She's feeling good. But it's another beautiful day on the Amazon River and aboard the otter here. By the way, this boat is named the otter because the otters that live in this river they always represent a good fishing spot. Wherever the otters are, you know the fish are there. So tomorrow we're gonna turn up the engines on the otter. We're gonna get out of this river and start heading back to some other fishing areas. So maybe some different water, some different scenery. I don't know, this, this creek, this, these lagoons back here have been amazing. This is where we went on our exploration and we saw some really awesome wildlife. So stay tuned for more adventures, fishing freaks. Keep it locked right here. I love all you guys. I hope you love every single one of these videos. Make sure you hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.